saves you money with super monthly specials. During November at Harris Ace, you can get a turkey fryer with 30-quart pot on sale for just $39.99 with Ace Rewards card. Get a DeWalt Black Oxide 20-piece drill bit for only $9.99 with Ace Rewards card. Don't forget, Harris Ace carries top brands such as Traeger Grills, Yeti Coolers, and Colts of Mars Sunglasses. Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street, here in Jessup. Time now for the latest in local sports and sports. Wayne County's high school football season came to an end Friday night as the Jackets fell 26-21 to Jones County. Jones County moves on to the lead eight round and will meet Carver of Atlanta in Atlanta. Both teams played Friday with their backup quarterback. Both played well. Jones County takes a 6-0 lead on a 16-yard touchdown pass from quarterback Hunter Coslow to wide out Josh Jones. The PAT was blocked and the Greyhounds led 6-0 with less than four minutes remaining in the first quarter. But Wayne County gets on the board early in quarter number two. As quarterback Shamar Taylor connects with Tranquil Holloway from six yards out to tie the game. Third and goal from the six. Shamar rolls. Shamar throws. Got him. Touchdown. Wayne County in the end zone. Tranquil Holloway from six yards out. We're tied 6-6. Oh, how sweet it is. PAT is good by Austin Cruz. Jack has led 7-6. Remains 7-6 all the way to halftime. Thanks to an interception by Zach Fuller deep inside Wayne County's territory right before halftime. In the third quarter, Jack has extended the lead to 14-6. On this nice pass and catch to the corner of the end zone, 15-yard reception by wideout Ashby Cribb. Shamar rolls, looks, throws in the corner to Ashby Cribb. Touchdown. Touchdown, Ashby Cribb. He caught it. Ashby Cribb with a dive and a touchdown. From 15 yards out, and Wayne takes a 13-6 lead. Oh, how sweet it is. What a catch by Cribb. What a throw by Taylor. PAT is good. Jags led 14-6 until Jones cut it to 14-12 just into the fourth quarter. They go for two and miss, and the Jaggers lead by two after leading at the half by one. Again, it was a great game by both teams. Only difference up to this point, the missed PATs by Jones County. But with 6.42 remaining in the fourth quarter, Jones County gets a touchdown on a 34-yard run. It was the longest run from scrimmage for Jones County all night. They go for two this time and make it, and Jones County leads it by a score uh, 20 to 14 with 642 left in the game. Jones would score next with just 257 left in the game on a 39 yard screen pass that opened up nicely with the Jackets in an all out blitz. Jones goes for two but misses and with just under three minutes left in the game, Jones led 26 14 and appeared to have the game in hand. But as Yogi says, it ain't over till it's over and after MJ returns the kick to the 30 yard line, the Jackets go to work. Headed three play strike for this touchdown. A 37-yard strike. Dash be crib to make it 26-20. Shamar rolls right. Pump fakes. Going long. Got a man down there. And he's got it. Touchdown, Dash be crib. Touchdown, Wayne County. From 37 yards out. It's a 26-20 game with 229 left to go in the game. Oh, oh, watch out. Wayne County back in it with 229. That only took three plays in about 10 seconds. Wow. PAT is good. It's a 26-21 game. Jones County, everyone knows what's next. An onside kick, and lo and behold, the Jackets recovered the kick. And Jones, I'm going to swing the ball. Wayne's got the ball at midfield. Jones County came up. We hit him. They fumbled the ball. It's Wayne's ball with 229 to go. 26-21 down by five. Oh, watch out. Again, Wayne Kenny down by five with 229 left on the clock. Also one time on their pocket, but it just wasn't to be. Jones County Greyhounds hang on and force a four and out for Wayne County. Take a knee and move on to the lead eight, ending Wayne's season at nine and two, a region championship season and a trip to the Sweet 16. After the game, here are the thoughts of Coach Ken Cripp. Just played the hearts out, man. Just a great game. I mean, back and forth, uh, looked like it was over at 26 14, but get to kick three plays. Touchdown, 26-21, got the onside kick. Looked like we were in position to win the ball game there with about two and a half minutes to go. So take us through what happened there in those last three plays. Got an opportunity, and uh, just got to connect on those plays. And They were doing a good job. I felt like they were holding our receivers, uh, grabbing and holding them. But, you know, that's a smart play on their part. So, uh, you know, trying to get, move the clocks, trying to get something underneath, get a little bit of time. But uh, we got pressure to Shamar on Got to him and, you know, got down the fourth down and then uh, tried to pull tried to pull something out of the hat. Well, you've been involved in a lot of games. I mean, you've been coaching a long time, but this was, I, mean, I don't know what it was like to coach it, but watching it, it was just a fun game to watch. It was just an excellent football game. I mean, both teams won it extremely bad. Both teams gave great effort. 
great plays. I mean, it was just a fun game to call, but you know, we hate we didn't win, but I'm sure when we think about the season, nine and two, ten and two, if you count the forfeit win, but last year, three and eight, first year, you got to be pleased, uh, Sweet 16, reaching championship, a lot of accomplishments uh, when you get a chance to let the pain seep away and just think about the season in general. Yes, that's going to hurt for a while. You know, they're sick on their stomachs right now, it's just hard to accept, but... Uh, Proud of their effort to fall to the end. I mean, you know, you just got to be proud of, of, of the season and the kids. And, you know, it's just uh, just still tough to swallow. It'll be a, be a while. <laughs> Again, both games with our region and their region were close games. Uh, Ware County led at halftime, lost at the end 14-7. So both our games matchups were very close ball games, very fun games for the fans, a uh, good crowd on hand. But a lot to build on for next year. A lot of kids coming back. Yes, we've got, we've got about 40 guys going to be seniors. That's good. So, again, uh, any final thoughts? Uh, uh, to me, they're, they, I tip their cap to them because we heard all week they might put the running back back there in the Wildcat, but their coach is smart to realize they couldn't be successful coming in here to do that against our defense. So they put the young sophomore quarterback back there to control, had the tall receivers. They had a mismatch most of the time. I mean, our cornerbacks are kind of small. I mean, and they're tough physical guys, but they don't have the height advantage. And it was basically a, you know, just throw it up, let their receiver go get it. And most of the times they would win the battle. If not, the flag would come out. So is that what you saw? It, it is. Uh, you know, they were planning on using the no, eight more, but he got banged up. He got banged up early. 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 And so uh, Coach said he, he lost him in the first quarter and had a hard time getting him back in the ball game. But uh, kids played hard. I mean, it was a good, just a good, good. 5A Georgia football game, playoff game. So uh, we're going to work real hard now for the next, next few weeks to make sure we get as many uh, homeless that can play and want to play and have done the homework. You know, they got to have grades. But for you listening, if the kid doesn't go, you know, they got to start ninth grade making sure they got the academics. They got to have a GPA. They got to have a test score. Um, and they got to be able to play. Uh, if they hadn't done it, you know, you're not going to do it. You know, we've only been here about three months in the fall, so uh, we're going to make sure our young kids understand everything. We've been signing them up for the test, SAT and ACT, but uh, it's, a, it's a process. You don't just all of a sudden get eligible. Again, get those comments after the game of Coach Ken Cree. With the Wayne Jones County again plays at Carver and Flanna. They defeated Flowery Branch 33-19. Other matchups this Friday will be Carrollton taking on Warner Robins. Stars Mill plays Rome. Buford plays Stockbridge. Stockbridge got by Ware County 10-7. Buford beat Jackson of Atlanta. 48 zip. Those are the four matchups this coming Friday night. Other area teams in Triple A Liberty beats Calhoun, replaced Calhoun. Liberty defeated Westside Macon 21 zip. Calhoun beat Monroe 28 20. Peach County defeated Pierce County 34 14. Peach will play Westminster in the Elite Eight round. In 7 8 football, Calk would beat Walton 28 21. They'll play Archer Friday. Lions lost to McEachin 36 31. Lions led this game 31 6 and lost the ball game 36 31. Tift won. They beat Hillgrove 31 24. They'll play Brookwood on Friday. In 6A, Glen Academy still alive. Congratulations to Coach Rocky Adalgo and Glen Academy. They defeated Heritage Conyers 34-26. Glen plays Harrison on Friday. Coffee won. They beat Evans 55-21. Coffee plays Alpharetta, who beat Douglas County 24-21. College football from the weekend. Georgia defeats Kentucky Saturday in Athens. Senior day, the Dogs win 42-13. Georgia finishes the season undefeated at home, also undefeated against the SEC East this year. First time they've done that in their History, Dogs and Tech Saturday at noon in Atlanta. Georgia Tech needs a win to become bowl eligible after losing Saturday to Duke, 43-20. Georgia Southern wins their first game, a 52-0 blowout over South Alabama in Statesboro. Other scores, Auburn beats Louisiana Monroe, 42-14. TCU, 27, Texas Tech, 3. Wisconsin stays unbeaten. They knock off Michigan, 24-10. Bama still undefeated. They beat Mercer, 56-0. Miami still undefeated. They beat Virginia, 44-28. Clemson will play in the ACC title game against Miami. They beat the Citadel 61-3. Clemson plays the South Carolina this Saturday. Kansas State 45, Oklahoma State 40, Notre Dame 24, Navy 17, Ohio State 52, Illinois 14, South Carolina over Wofford 31-10, LSU 30, Tennessee 10, Texas A&M over Ole Miss 31-24, Missouri whipped up on Vandy 45-17, USC beat UCLA 28-23, UCLA fires her coach after the game, Oklahoma 41-3 over Kansas, Baker Mayfield again having to apologize after the game for crude gestures and language during the game, leading Kansas to win the Heisman. 
but just can't seem to stay out of trouble, but falls in line with Johnny Manziel, Cam Newton, and James Winston, all who found trouble their senior year still won the Heisman Trophy. The word integrity just doesn't apply anymore when it comes to Heisman. NFL football on Sunday, Jacksonville Jaguars in first place at 7-3. and They're talking playoffs in Jacksonville at the end of the year. They beat the winless Browns 19-7. Falcons tonight in Monday Night Football. We'll have that game for you here on Big Dog Country. FM 105.5. Elsewhere, the Lions get over the Bears 27-24. Ravens shut out Green Bay 23-zip. Texans 31, Arizona 21, Vikings 24, Rams 7, Saints in overtime beat Washington 34-31, Tampa Bay over Miami 30-20, Giants knocked out Kansas City in overtime 12-9, Cincy over Denver 20-17, Chargers 54, the Bills 24, Patriots over the Raiders 33-8 out of Mexico City, and Sunday night football, it was the Eagles blowing out the Cowboys 37-9. And tonight, Monday night football, the Falcons and the Seahawks right here on Big Dog Country. FM 105.5. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports. Sports is brought to you each and every day at this time by friends.